Hi folks, I'm back with another battery test. And uh, this time, what I have here is one of the borax separators that I made in the last video. And uh, this one's had eight hours to dry. And um, I'm gonna the the next two one the next one will have 16 hours to dry, and the last one will have 24 hours to dry. So eight hours apart. And um, uh, I rehydrated this with 23 drops of water over a half hour period and that's what it took to make it uh, limp again. So now we're going to put the cell together and test it and uh, see how it does with uh, good rehydration on it. Alright, we're just going to put graphite on the graph oil. Slip our separator paper on it. perform really well. Uh, we have 94, 6 and dropping. So that's the same pattern as it started off at. And we're right in the same ballpark, volts wise. Alright now, amps. And we have 18. That's lower than it uh, we started before. So let's let's test it right there and see what we got. At 0.816817. All right, and we have 13.15. Alright, I'm back. And our voltage is now, as you can see, 0.823. And then it's still climbing at, uh, we're going to do it at 0.825. There we go. 17. So I did go back up, and not quite as where it started. And eight, two, five. Climb. Okay. All right, back again. And now our volts have climbed a little bit more. We're back at uh, there's. 83, 0.83, 0 0.831. Uh, 16.4. Nope, about the same. That's all 16.4. And 0.831. So that looks like, well, we'll give it one more try, and then call it quits on this. Alright, we're back at the same voltage this time, alright, and we have 17.4. Alright, so it's holding pretty fair right in 17 mark. You can see that uh, that 90 mark is where these things all want to settle. And if it's above that, then it's, it'll slowly drop down there. And then once you discharge it, though, it climb back up, and then it slowly climbs up a little higher every time, heading back towards 90. And I think it's structuring itself that whole time while it's doing. Well, I'm back, and it hasn't been eight hours yet. 
I decided I'd just keep on running the uh, test on the battery and so I've run 10 uh, discharges on it now and in every one of them the voltage kept increasing until it got uh, the eighth one was the peak or at, uh, at 867 and the, the amperage was real consistent throughout the whole thing until that when it peaked and then we saw uh, uh, the dip in the amps down to 14 milliamps and then and the next dish in the next self charge it didn't get up to 867 it only went to 858 and we saw another uh, dip in milliamps so uh, at that point I said it looks like it's running out of water so I gave it some uh, some water on these little wings here and let it soak in and uh, sure enough uh, the volts climbed up to a new high, uh, 878. Uh, so we've got above, uh, quite a bit above uh, 867 over here. And the uh, milliamps uh, rebounded to 13.6. So not not back up to the 16 or 17 again, but uh, on its way back up. So uh, it was definitely a, a water loss thing there. And uh, so anyway, I'll be back. Well, we might as well see what we get with the, the magnesium on there. And we, we get 172 in climbing. Well, no, starting to drop. 172, 3 in dropping. And our amps are out. 12.6. Boy, boy, that was you know, that holding right there. The hell is climbing. Maybe I'll just throw the zinc back on there and hold it for longer. I just throw the zinc back on there and hold it for longer. Probably ought to let it charge, huh? Just do it and see if it uh, gains in, in amps. It is. Not as fast as the other one, maybe. Alright, I'm back again. I thought there's definitely uh, still not getting enough water, so I just soaked this thing in some water for a while and I'm going to put it back together and give it one more test. I've washed the uh, graphite off the thing so I'm going to put some more on here. Right. It should have plenty of water in it. And we now have 88 and 5 in dropping. Alright, so let's uh, here we go. Ooh, 20. Shows that uh, you really gotta just soak that shit <laughs> before you uh, go putting it back together. Alright, I'm back one more time. I let this thing charge up again and I tested it and I could have sworn it went to 25 milliamps. But I wasn't sure because I've been up all night doing this. And it's about there, right there. So we're at about the same voltage, 0.84. And uh, I want to try it again. See if the uh, the amps are actually going up on it again. Here we go. 32.49. It is, but uh, the mystery deepens, doesn't it? Well, I'm back. I think one thing we could say we learned from this video is that we're going to get a lot of cycles out of this battery. This is like uh, 20 times 
we cycled that one here tonight and uh, it's just as strong as it now as it was when uh, we made it and uh, it's real consistent too uh, even here here at the beginning where we were starving it for water it was within two or three milliamps of uh, each reading on it um, I think uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take these ten readings right here and uh, multiply the volts times the uh, amps and get the watts on it and then plot that watts out and see what kind of a, a curve it makes it looks like it's going to be pretty a straight line to me alright I'm back with the third membrane in this series right here I was going to do the second but after the results from the first uh, when the second had it 16 hours of drying time I just threw the whole membrane in a, a um, uh, water and let it soak for a half hour and then pulled it out and it uh, but that turned out to be a bad thing to do because uh, the uh, the glue membrane had separated from the from the paper and um, I tested it uh, ran it through a couple of cycles but it was pretty pitiful so uh, anyway so now we're doing the third one and this has had 24 hours of drying time and you know, on this one rather than soak it for a long time right off the bat I dipped it in the water for a few seconds took it out let it dry or not dry but uh, let it absorb all that and then I dipped it in the water again let it absorb it dipped it in water again let it absorb it did that four times and, and it's pretty uh, it looks like it's hydrated but how do you know without moisture testing so uh, we're going to put it together now and give it a quick a quick test and see what happens let's see what we got and we have 90.654321 so 90.6 and falling and amps we have 29 alright so I don't see alright I'm back again and it looks like this membrane is screwed up too so uh, overall it looks like after two out of three of these uh, separators failed before we even really got to test them just in the rehydration process it seems like a the dry uh, dry glue process isn't really worth it then you because then you have to go through the whole rehydration the wet the glue uh, process is uh, looks like it's definitely better and produces much better uh, bolts and amps too all right so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time